Box. She laughs at other, never gonna get all the money that she hasn't got. 
<laughs> sure. Sure. <sighs> now both the tip jars are on there. <laughs> are they? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'll fix it. Just, just, just yeah. kill the regular one off. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. So we've got Skeggy, we've got I Love Hamo 2, we've got Satina. So Skeggy is, um, he says it's been shocking rain for about five hours. Wow. So it's very stormy South Yorkshire. Satina, as we know, has uh, developed the, the dreaded uh, Rona. Along with my mother. Yep. Not along with my mother. No. I mean, it's not like they, they did it together. It's not, was not, not a club. They didn't join a club or anything. That's not a club that you want, really. No. But yeah, uh, Seal Club. Hamo's mum tested positive. Or is it Club Seal? I have no idea. What are you Seal talking Club? about? You know, clubbing you seals. Uh, yeah, clubbing seals. Um, apparently, that's the thing. So yeah, uh, Matt's mum tested positive today as well. Yep. So now the logistics right. of getting her groceries into her house, because the carers can't do that, which is fine. So I'm going to have to get me a hazmat suit. I, I, I've always wanted one of those Plague Doctor suits. I, I should really get one because they would come in handy quite often. And Toy Boy, how is your mom doing as well? Indeed. How's everybody's mom doing? Yeah. Those that have mom. Satina promises that uh, she didn't give it to your mom. No, she got it. Sort of like, you know when you can't send your kids off to school or to daycare or whatever and they come back with every possible bug under the sun? Same thing with old people. You yeah. get a bunch of old people together, oh, they're going to get Oh, let's share diseases. Yeah. Ah, uh, Toy Boy, that's great to hear. Glad she's on the mend. Yeah, that's good news. So, uh... Hemma, what are you starting with tonight? You've got ten songs tonight's, in your queue. Tonight's, tonight's list is songs that have been influential to me in one facet or another. Um, and we'll go through them. We'll go through them. They're, they're pretty much in order, actually, of, of their... Of the degree of influence? No, in, of, of the timeline of when they became influential. Not necessarily mm. when I realized they were influential, Ah, uh, but when they became but when they, influential when, when, when to they you. entered into my life. Hmm. They're in a timeline of when they entered into my life. More or less. Interesting. Some of them then became influential later on. Like this first song that uh, was one that my dad used to play on the keyboard incessantly. Every time he sat down, this is the first song he always plays. And then he would play it five or six times. Um, driving all of us completely spare. Uh, and um, it became, it became. I mean, it's influential in that. That was one of the first musical things in the house that I was just like, oh, so you could actually do this yourself rather than just listening to records. Mm. You don't have to have other people do it for you. I mean, I always knew I wanted to play guitar, but. Uh, yeah, and I sat down at the keyboard and I was like, oh, let's play some keyboards. Let's learn to do that. And I kind of learned a little bit. Um, when I was very small, very small, maybe seven, eight years of age, something like that. And then um, much later, in fact, 12 years ago, uh, when we moved back here, I actually started playing some of this stuff with my dad in the living room. And then he was just like, Oh, we should do the dinner dance at the golf club. So we did. We played the dinner dance. It was quite fun. And uh, this was one of the songs. And it led me to write an entire album's worth of similar material, um, which I've yet to record. Uh, anyway, this goes on. <laughs> Like on Jupiter and Mars 
In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song and let me sing. Read the words. Went all blurry. Oh, oh Madam X, thank you for your resub. Hello, Madam X. That's super cool of you. Thank you very much. Uh, England one, USA zero. Just so you know. For what? Uh, I, I'm assuming it's football. Let me know, Toy Boy, if it's I football. Mean, I th- and uh, Skaggy wants to know mm. uh, when, how old were you when you started uh, singing and playing guitar? Ah, uh, that's a good. That's a good question. Um, I've always, I've always been a singer, my entire life. Um, even before I could speak, uh, I used to pick up the plug. My mum loves to tell this story. I used to pick up the plug like anything that was unplugged, because everything in our house was always unplugged unless it was being used. Yes, because, of, you know, otherwise the house burns down instantly. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, you're wasting electricity. Even though the switch is off, you're wasting electricity and uh, unplug everything. Always, un- at the end of the night, always unplug the TV. It was, oh my God. The only thing that remained plugged in without being unplugged was the, ki- was the fridge. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> everything else got unplugged. Madhouse. Anyway, I would pick up the plug off of whatever it was that I was near and I would sing into it. It was a little, tiny little child before I was a year old. Um, so I've always, that's all I've ever wanted to do my entire life. Um, guitar, I got my first guitar when I was eight. Um, and I, I, I would noodle around on it and play things. But I didn't learn to play chords for a very long time. I was about, s- I mean, I would, I would play a lot of, uh, I guess I played bass, really. Mm-hmm. So I'd play a lot of. And, and stuff like that. I would just noodle around. Um, 
and I never really learned any chords until I went to college. Um, where somebody showed me an E chord. Yeah, there's an E chord, play that. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Yes, it is sexy party time, serious. Um, that went on for about 20 minutes. And they said, will you shut up? I'm like, well, show me another chord. Like, All right, here's A minor. It's the same thing as E, but you move your hands over one string. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> that for about 20 minutes and they went shut up so I said show me another chord I went alright here's a tricky one here's D you go like that I went oh okay. <laughs> it is like Oasis series yeah and that's how I learned to play guitar. Um, that's how I learned to play chords anyway. Um, but I, would, oh, I knew how to play power chords. By the way, Liam asked, uh, is being a born bass player better than being one of life's drummers? And the answer is always, always. yes. Yes. Although, I will say this, I wish I'd been a drummer. Yeah, well. You play drums. You'd you never want for a band. You play drums, you can play with everybody and anybody. Because drums is about beats and percussion and rhythm. And even though the drums are actually, should actually be tuned to certain pitches, um, they very rarely are. Um, so you can play, I mean, if you're playing, you know, like a, That could be a rock song, that could be a jazz song, that could be anything. Mm. You know, it, it, it just it just could be. You could play you can play any you can play with anybody if you can play drums. Ah. And hold a simple four four count. Most of them can't though. But that's a different story. That is a different story. Skeggy was just wondering why you never fancied uh, being a lead guitar player. Um, it never really it, it, it's just not it's not really something Well, you're very influenced by John Lennon and John was a rhythm guitar player, so. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, where, where in Eurovox, I was the only guitar player. Yeah. So I played, I did play lead. I do play lead. I can play lead. I just choose not to. It's just, it's just not something that's really Spoken part of my, to. part of my focus for what I, for, for what I need to do. Um, Gameplay boy 2222, good to see you. The, good evening, good evening and welcome in. There's always people like Martin. Who are if excellent. you can get him to actually put the paintbrushes down and pop over He's across the road. been prolific and with those and paintbrushes these days. And, uh, and come and do something. Anyway, which, you know, I can't, so I'm just going to end up doing it myself. Um, but that's, there you are, that's the thing. Right, so, um, songs yeah. of influence. Songs of influence, that's what we're doing today. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm a huge Beatles fan, and this was one of the very first Beatles songs I remember. The very first one uh, that I really remember knowing was Twist and Shout. But that wasn't really a Beatles song, that was a cover. Um, but this has the greatest, the greatest chord ever, which is this. It's not that. It's not, it's not that, it's this. Yeah, it's that one. It's been a hard day's night And I've been working like a dog It's been a hard day's night I should be sleeping like a dog But when I get over you I find the things that you do Will make me feel alright You know I work all day To get you money To buy you things and it's worth it just to hear you say You're gonna give me everything 
I love Hamo too. Thank you for gifting that sub to Gameplay Boy 2222. Cool. Yes, it's that cool. <sighs> Which I made up myself. All by yourself. I did. I took all the, because there's yeah, like no. five different instruments all playing various chords to create that sound. Mm -hmm. And I took all of the bits and I figured them all out. That sounds about right. That's my favorite chord. Uh, so that was one of the first Beatles songs that uh, Satina learned. Uh, her nan took her to see the film when she was five. Wow. Yeah. That's a cool. That's awesome. That's a cool nan. That is awesome. I had to wait until I was much older and they were much more dead. Yes. Oh, I do remember seeing Hard Day's Night in my teens. Now, Hard Day's Night is the one with the clean grandfather, right? Or the clean uncle? Or Paul's yeah. granddad? Yeah, that's the first one. Okay. Yeah, I did not see that until I was well into probably 30s. my 30s, yeah. Because we sat and watched. Yeah, and I think that might have been the first time I'd seen it. And then we watched Help. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like that as well as uh, stuck in my throat. It's really pizza. Good. Well, something from the pizza. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, everything's going around right about now. Colds, flu, the vid. Stay safe, people. Mask back up. Don't go out. Don't go out. Stay home. Tune in. Sanitize your hands. All that stuff. So what about this one? Why is this one influential? Um, this particular song isn't necessarily the one that's influential. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of my favorite ABBA songs. I mean, I remember ABBA on uh, the Eurovision. I remember them winning the Eurovision Song Contest. Um, and I remember how good I thought Waterloo was then. I was like, what, four? Four years of age, something like that, maybe five. Um, and, and I just remember it, but I, but I remember, and, and then we had ABBA Arrival and an ABBA Greatest Hits album in the house a few years after that. Really? So your dad must have picked that up. 
I'm guessing. Yes. I, I can't picture your mum. Um, I don't know if my mum likes music. Yeah, you've said that before. Because um, there are some people who, who genu- genuinely do not like music. There are very mm. few, but for some people, music is, is, is an irritation to them. Well, and, considering and there was four of you in the house with all your different music and cacophony, I can see where she might have learned to dislike it. Yeah. Um, so, yes, they were very, they were, they were very influential on my upbringing. We're at Abba. Uh, and this is one of my favorites. talking about the first films we ever saw in the cinema. I cannot Simba, recall. Sinbad and the uh, I, uh, uh, Ragged ti- Eye of the Tiger. Not Seven and the Ragged Tiger. That's what you 
I get confused. Could be Sinbad. Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. And the Eye. Yeah, 1977. You would have been uh, eight. Now that wasn't the first movie then. I saw that in Plymouth. Did you? Yeah, the movie's in Plymouth. Uh, that can't have been the first one then. Oh, England won, uh, USA won. It's a gr uh, women's soccer. Oh. Uh, something we're almost good at. Uh, didn't we win the cup or something? Didn't they bring it home? Oh, yeah. Didn't the girls bring the something girl, home? The girls brought something home. Yeah. Because God knows the men can't do it. That's true. Yeah, the thing they bring home is like, I don't know, syphilis or something. You're assuming that people actually want to sleep with the men's football team. Are the men's football teams? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea towels. They brought home tea towels. <laughs> 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 well done, Zerius. Uh, they brought home the Euros Cup, apparently, according to Toy Boy. Thank you. Thank you for the info. Um. I've been reminded by stream elements, and I don't say it enough. Uh, our mods rule. Our mods do rule, you know what? Toy Boy, Zerius, Madame X, Rodster, and Joe, if he ever shows up, when he shows up. You guys rule. Love you guys. You simply the awesome. Mods rule. Mod love. We are the mods. We are the mods. So, yeah. <laughs> Madame X says they yeah, they brought home <laughs> the girls brought home the tea towels for the men to use. <laughs> it's true. Not that they would or know to what clean to do the with oily them. Bits on their car with. Like they know how to clean the oily bits on their car. Hey, I was doing exactly that today. Yeah, you Shut your pie home. No, you do, but Shut the men's cake, football cake team cheap. like that men's football team would know how to clean the oily bits on their car. They don't even know how to add Half one of them plus are one. The oily bits. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, most of them are the oily bits on their car. They don't know how to add one plus one. They're thick as ten planks. Oh my god. But they can kick a ball. Well, they can kind of kick a ball. Sort of, yeah. They can kick it. They just can't put it where it's supposed to be, in the back of the net. Yeah, pretty much. They're not much. playing that game, are they? Oh, don't even get started. Right. What about this song? Uh, This song. This song was... um. Was it a TV ad? I remember. Maybe early 80s. Mm -hmm. um, but I was aware of this song before that. This was, this was one of the first Who songs that I really remember. Um, I just like the fact that you could see for miles. That was it. I like the whole thing about it. I like the whole driving rhythm of it. And just, I was just like, yeah, that's, that's good. That's some good rock and roll, man. <sighs> so, yeah, the who goes like this. So far away, I 
saw you holding lots of other guys And now you got the nerve to say You still want me Well that just may be But you gotta stand trial Because all the while I can see for miles and miles I can see for miles and miles I can see for miles Skeggy said, it's a fantastic stream, only one on Twitch with live football scores as well as songs. I'm like, <laughs> we do aim to please. There was also talk about uh, doing something inappropriate with a chamois leather earlier. So, you know, we cater to all needs. Was there? Oh, yeah. Zerius. Uh well, a nice soapy chamois leather. No, he draws the line at a chamois leather. Oh, no, you get it all soaked up. It's lovely. No, it feels just like the real thing. <sighs> Hammond. You can ruin a good so, show. Oh, so I hear. Uh huh. And now it's 2 2. Uh, and in other wonderful news, my babyest brother is home. Surprised my mom. Excellent. Yeah, he's home for, uh, for a little while, and then he's off to uh, Louisiana in November. Oh, well, that's going to be horrible. And then they'll be home over Christmas, which is nice. Right. What about this one? I've, t I've talked about this one. Yeah. Before. Give us the Cliff's notes. <sighs> Feels like real pig slash cow. <laughs> God, <laughs> serious. <laughs> Jesus. Feels like real sheep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Um, no, no means no. <laughs> Stop um, it. God. Uh, <laughs> so, Ashes to Ashes, the video freaked I've you lost, out. I've lost complete control yeah, I know. of this entire thing. I don't know what so, the mean. video freaked you out. The video freaked me out. It was... Um, he's, what, Pagliacci? Yeah, yeah, but he's, he's, he's kind of standing in the water, but not. it's, it's a visual oh. effect. But it's not a great visual effect. So it, sound, it looks like he's actually just cut in half. It's really, yeah. for, 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 you know, a seven or eight-year-old or whatever it was when it came out, it was really disturbing. Um, you remember the article thing I saw the other day, and I don't know if it's true or not, but they were setting up to do that oh, yeah, scene, yeah. and this guy walks by and basically, you know, kind of walks through the middle of the scene, and, you know, I forget how it went, but anyway... The guy's like, don't you know who that is? It's like, yeah, it's some cunt in a clown outfit, <laughs> you know? They did not realize that they were in the presence of... David Bowie. And Mr. Then, Bowie himself. And, then and later he David Hurt 
about it. And he's like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and he often thought about it yeah. whenever like he played this song. It's like, I'm yeah. still just some kind of clown out there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it freaked me out as a kid, so it was quite influential in that respect. I quite liked it. It freaked me out, but I liked it. So there's that. Is a tune. A uh, I've loved it ever since I first saw it. Yeah. I was freaked out by it. I'm like, oh, it's disturbing. I don't like it, but I like it. I don't know why I like it. We've been joined by the one, the only, the myth, the legend, the master of all things guitar and pinball. Oh, How are you, my friend? How's things? 
Yeah. Oh, that over the shouting. Oh, we've done the shouting. We we've been shouting. Uh, and Skeggy came in first with the orbiter <laughs> in text. Well done, Skeggy. Uh, we've determined that clowns are creepy. Um, we don't fear clowns. We don't fear clowns. You know, I don't have like a clown phobia. I don't, I don't fear clowns. But I fear. Clowns. I just don't like them. I fear clowns with with intent. <laughs> That's what I fear. Clowns with intent. Yeah, if they're in a tent, yeah. it's fine. But when they have well, intent, that that's a different. But Liam different. makes a good point. That's a different kind of clown. It's like step out of the light. What what's supposed to be funny about them? I'm you not know, a cat. like circus clowns. I I don't find them funny. They're just odd looking. You know, it's with your the cannibals big are eating a clown. One turns to the other and says, "Does this taste funny to you?" Oh my God, serious. That's one of my favorite all-time yeah. jokes. Okay. Serious. As a kid, I used to chew the electric cables in our house. When my dad found out, he grounded me. Oh, that's... No, no. I'm doing better currently. Oh, that's even less. <sighs> but um, I fear men who think being a clown is a valid vocation. Yes, I think you should, uh, Zerius. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't get it. I'm a clown. But you don't dress as one. Do I not? <laughs> you don't put the clown well, makeup on. I got the eyeliner. I have it. The fact that it's not a lot of makeup doesn't mean it's not. You don't have like the big bozo mouth and. Some would argue that <laughs> point. <laughs> Given the uh, diatribe that yeah. out. Okay, yeah, of there is that. Uh, Orbiter says at least rodeo clowns serve a purpose, and you may see them get gored by a bull, so, you know, there's that. Yeah, it's when they... It's, uh, but, see, but I don't even understand why they have to be clowns, though, in Rodeo. Because it's it's not like the bull is responding to the clown makeup. They are just responding to the person going, Hey, don't kill the rider. Come chase me. Uh, Liam, a Rodeo clown is when uh, the rider gets knocked off of the bull. They're literally they run. clowns. They're yeah. dressed as clowns, like circus clowns, exactly the same. Uh, and, and they, they run around to distract the bull. From hitting the, from and they goring the... And then they hide and jump in barrels. Yeah. Sacrificial lambs, exactly, Orbiter. But they don't have to dress as a clown to do that job. They can be dressed as anything. So, I don't know. Anyway. Maybe it's because people like to see clowns getting punished. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> what? About punching the clown? No, should. No, no. Zip it. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> Zip it. So this song <laughs> was one of the first three singles that I bought. Ever. When I got my own record. With your own money? I bought it with my pocket money. Yeah. It goes like this. Every night, fall to the ground and I wake up. So I get out of bed, put on my shoes and in my hair. Thoughts fly back to the breakup. These four walls are closing in. Look at the fix you put me in. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, I'm out of my head, can't take it. Could I be wrong? But since you've been gone, you cast this spell so breaking. Oh, 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 o
your poison letter, your telegram. Just goes to show you don't give a damn. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone, a man of my head can't take it. Could I be wrong? But since you've been gone, you cast your spell so break in. I know they use a red cape. I think they used to use a red cape uh, to disguise the blood, but I'm not sure because bulls can't see red. They're attracted to the flapping cape, but I don't know why it's red. I think I read somewhere that it might be to disguise the blood being on it, but I'm not sure. Skaggy said that was a fantastic rendition. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're no, talking no, no. about... I need, to, I need to fix this joke. It's entirely wrong. Okay. Because I changed it. it was okay. Wrong. Then I changed it, and now it's all wrong. Well, that's what you get for changing you things. Change chord positions. Chord positions. Yeah, they're all in the wrong spot. Okay. It's uh, a great tune. I still have to sing for some reason. In fact, I can see it. It's on that shelf there. Hang on. The red one. This one? That one. That is it. It's the only red polydor. Bad girl. Gone. And yeah. since you've been gone. Yeah. There you go. It's upside down, but there it is. There it is. Right there. I've had that for well, ever since it came out. There's a date on there probably somewhere. I'm sure there is. Seventy-nine. Island music produced by Roger Glover. What's interesting is that it's like etched. You know, it's not just printed on there. It's you can feel. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's proper, like stamped in there rather than just a label. Yeah. Um. So my friend. Uh. Joey, um, he, I've no, I, know, I know him from my Fender days, he was a shredding guitar player, uh, quite a famous one actually, and he started a, a, an accessories, guitar accessories company, making like straps and picks and different sorts of things, so I used to deal with him quite a lot, but, and, and he would never play, he would never come into the office and pick up a guitar and play, and I would just go, hey, come on, let's, let's jam, play, let's play some stuff. I'll play some stuff and you can solo over it. No, 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 I don't want that. Don't want that. He's like given up, given up completely. Mm. Um, and uh, he was quite, he was quite famous. Mm. Um, and um, he then, about four years ago, I think it was, was doing a tour with Graham Bonnet as his guitar player. Huh. And they were doing that stuff, and they came to England. And they were playing. They were going to be playing at the in Camden, the underground, underworld. Place. Oh yeah, the underworld. 
Um, and I was like, man, I've got to come see you because, A, I haven't seen you in like 10 years. Mm -hmm. And, B, I want to I get my single signed. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I was ill. Yeah, yeah, couldn't you go. got sick. I got, re I got really, really ill. Yeah. I couldn't go. I was gutted. Yeah. I think I, f was it food poisoning or something? Something. something but you were quite ill. I was really quite ill. I mean, if you were only sick. feeling a little bit, this was pre-corona. I would have, I would have gone. Yeah. I would, if I was, if I was just like, you know, had a cold or whatever, I would have, I would have gone. But I, I literally couldn't even leave the house. Yeah. Was that ill? Gutted. Gutted. Right, Hammer. So what about this one? Um, oh, it's a Japan song. So, you know. One of your favorite all-time bands. It's one of my favorite all-time bands. And uh, hugely influential to me in my, in my singing as well as my song craft. So yeah. Short song. I also like Japan. That song is just funky. Oh, I did like when they blew up the concrete truck in Mythbusters. <laughs> the when they let concrete set in the mixer. Yeah, they had to put it way out in there and out in the middle of the flipping desert, and they had to go like miles away, and it I just do went. I not remember that. Oh, uh, it was an excellent explosion. How did we get onto that? Uh, so... How do we get there for Punch in the Clown? Uh, easily, actually. So, Punch in the Clown, Rodeo Clowns, Bulls, uh, Red Capes, Do They See the Color Red, Mythbusters did an experiment, and they do not see the color red, and it's because they have 
uh, different rods and cones than humans do, so they're partially colorblind, and that's how we got to Mythbusters doing all the cool myth bustery stuff. So there you go. Oh, there you go. I know. Oh, that is super cool. So they do uh, a lot of the Mythbuster stuff near Orbiter. It's an old naval base that's too toxic to build anything on, so it remains mostly unused and wide open. Perfect for some filming and testing things. And the police practice pit maneuvers out there, too. Excellent. I know. I, I could sit out there all day and watch police do pit maneuvers. That's awesome. <sighs> hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, so we got three more influential songs for Hamo, and then it's down to you guys this to is pick, another new one on pick the, the rest of we the night. We had a new one on the list earlier. Yeah. I forget what it was. Oh, since you've been gone. Yeah. So, we all know your love of Duran Duran, but why this song in particular? Or... Uh, oh dear. Wake up, Hamo. Because Hannah. It's, um, it's the first track on Rio, ah. which was the first Duran album I bought that came out. Ah. And it was the first, and I was like, wow, that's good. I mean, already, I'd already heard Rio. I think this was a single, this was the, this was the first single off the album, actually, before Rio. Um, but I don't remember, I don't remember it being a single. Um, but I bought this album, because a friend of mine said it was good. Uh, this would be the fourth single by Duran Duran. The, uh, first, the first one off of Rio. Because they would have had uh, Careless da, da, da. Whispers. Uh, Girls uh, on Careless, Film sorry, was before Careless this. Marys, Girls on Film. Yep, My Own Planet Way. Earth, my Own Way. No, Girls on Film was bo before My Own Way. That's what I said. Where did you put Planet Earth in? Before that. Oh. The, the oh. three singles off of the first album would be Planet Earth. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, girls on film, yeah, and careless memories, I think. Cool. And then my own way would be the fourth single, which was the first single off of Rio. Yep. And then uh, hungry like the wolf apparently came after that. So there you go. Anyway, I love this song. This is the first, the first Duran song that I played on my new stereo. I got a brand new stereo from Technics because I smashed the other one. So I can have a new one. <laughs> I don't do that anymore.
between 6 and Broadway. Simmer between 6 and Broadway. That was a great tune. I like that one a lot. You played that one a little quick. Just saying. It was a little quick. Um. Not for me, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me, it wasn't. Shiny out of pain. So, um, what did you say? Sorry. So the first single was Planet Earth. Then it was Careless Memories. Right. Then it was Girls on Film. Right. Then it was My Own Way. Yeah. Then Hungry Like the Wolf. Yeah. Then, do you remember? Uh, Still off of Rio. Yeah. Uh, uh, save a Prayer. Yeah, Save a Prayer, then Rio. Yeah. <laughs> now, I... And this is probably a uh, heresy to anybody who is an 80s music person. I preferred Seven and the Ragged Tiger to Rio. Oh, shut you. Sh See? Look at you. Shut your face. I, I, I think it's better. No. I think it's better. It's as good. It's not better. <sighs> Agree to disagree. No. I will not. <laughs> I'll I will disagree to disagree. Okay. Still no sprouting for the trees. I keep forgetting to ask Liam how his poisonous trees are coming. And he said still no sign of them sprouting, so they may have to go back in the fridge for a couple months. What? He had poisonous seeds. Yeah. And so he's put them into, you know, earth to grow trees with. And he did it quite a while ago, and I wanted to see how they were coming along. But they have not sprouted yet. Uh, Is it the wrong time of year? Maybe. Uh, Skeggy said that poor guitarist had some serious strumming this first hour. It's not over yet. No. It's a hearty guitar, that Martin guitar. Right. So, we got uh, two of Hamo's influential songs left. And, uh, you know onto your request, so have a look at that song list. Are, are trees, I assume that trees would be difficult to cultivate, you know, it's not like just chucking a potato in the ground and hey, it grows more potatoes. Um, it should be. You'd think it should be, but think about this. How many acorns fall off of one single tree? Thousands. Every year. Why are there not more trees then? Because they don't fall far enough from the tree uh, to get enough water for them to be seriously... Because the roots of the oak tree take all the water out of the ground. Mm. I, I was thinking squirrels, but yes, that too. And squirrels. <laughs> and other woodland creatures. <laughs> right, so what about this song, Hammer? Um... This was just one of one of their first few singles. It might have been the first one. No, I don't think it was the first one. Uh, I think Pam Shelter might have been the first single. Hang on. He's but I remember this. I like, I like this one a lot particularly. This is a great song. And I like uh, this one a lot. Which is actually... Uh, first single... Uh, didn't chart anywhere, but first single was Suffer the Children. Oh, Second right. single was Pale Shelter. Right. Followed by Mad World. Yeah. And then Change. Then Change. And then uh, the re-release of Pale Shelter in 1983. 
after that. So there we go. Oh, there you are then. I like this one. Particularly. <laughs> nice. Uh, England is winning two to one. It's uh, not two two because the uh, the U.S. goal was ruled out before, much earlier. I forgot to mention that. England's winning what? Two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Uh. Yes. So scientifically, if you want to grow an oak tree, you need to get into the mind of a squirrel. Satina's local squirrels bury empty ground nut husks which don't grow. Oh, and a half-chewed chestnut that she found in the plant pot in her front porch. <laughs> so we start. So squirrel started eating a chestnut. It's like, no, nah, I'll just save this for later. Save it for Ron. Yeah, save it for Ron. Later Ron the squirrel. Thank you for the applause. Thank you. 
Right. So we're on Hamo's last Lost. influential yeah. song. Why this one? Um, because after somebody showed me some chords, I said uh, they were playing this actually Jason Weeks, mm -hmm. uh, who was a drummer, was playing this song on guitar. He was playing this song on guitar. Huh. And because um, he could play guitar as well. Um, and I said to him, uh, how do you play that then? So he showed me. So this is the first song, the first actual song that I actually learned to play on guitar. Um, ladies and gentlemen. That's just me then. That'll be just me.
It's a lovely tune. It's a lovely tune. Uh, Skeggy said it's the first time he's heard that song, and uh, he said it's good. Oh, it's off of uh, a sort uh, of homecoming. Yeah, it's uh, Unforgettable Fire is the album. Yeah, yeah Unforgettable Fire, that's right, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. I don't really know what I'm doing. <sighs> what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. so I was looking at it. So, yeah. Just, those are some, some of my influential songs. Influential. From the... At least memories up until my teens. Yeah. Late teens. Um, and after that, everything was crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. So they re-recorded the vocals for that at the uh, last minute. So the band worked overnight to finish it by 8 a.m. on the final day of the recording sessions so the producer could deliver the tapes for the mastering. As they listened back to it, Bono said that he wanted to record another take of those vocals. Uh the producer had a taxi to the airport waiting outside and said, okay, fine. He queued up the tapes, gave Bono his final take, and uh, told the band that he would mix it at the mastering studio in London and then departed. Ran off. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Marvelous. Yeah. I like you, too. I know a lot of people in this country don't for some reason. I don't know if it's because Bono's political or... I, I, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's the Irish thing. I and don't either. But I love a bit of you too. Big fan. Big fan. Huge. Huge fan of you too. Although I came to them after uh, Joshua Tree because... Oh, God, God, what was that called? Everybody and their dog, when I was at school, had Joshua Tree. And I'm like, ugh. You know, you're all listening to it just because everybody else is listening to it. Nah, 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 nah. And then I listen to it later, and I'm like, oh, yeah, these guys are good. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I suppose some people could think that they are beige. Um, you too, but I don't know. You listen to some of the... I mean, for God's sake... Um, what the hell is his name? I don't know. Uh, Adam Clayton, the bass player. He, he is so good. They're all just exceptionally good. The edge is brilliant. I mean, some of the stuff. Like what, uh, what are you. <laughs> 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 See, now. A real musician has a full scarf up his sleeve, not just a bit of string. That's a magician. Magician, not musician. Ah, ah, I see, yes. Thank you for the string. You're welcome. Oh, that looks like a spider over there. So it looks like a spider and then freaks you out? Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I will punch <laughs> you in the throat. <laughs> Rabbit punching. Uh, yeah, I, I, I like you too. Bay City Rollers are beige. Um, yes, I. I no, the Bay City Rollers are mostly, mostly tar. No. Yeah, tartan. Hello, always a smile. Always Good a to smile. See you. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you've been well. How's things? <laughs> right. So, you ready? No. Yep. Getting there. All right. Yeah, great to see you again, Smile. Hope things are well with you. 
And yeah, uh, y'all do like Orbiter do did, and uh, have a look at the song list, get some requests in. For Orbiter. Um, I kind of like Nickelback. We're talking about other beige bands. I kind of do. That one song. Look at this photograph. Whatever it is. I kind of like it. Yeah, I know. What? I know. You know, you complain about the crap that comes out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> I've never said anything that bad. <laughs> you um, also said I like scatology. No. Don't be disgusting. Uh, Skeggy had to turn the volume up as the rain is pounding the windows. And he couldn't hear. Good lord. Yeah, that's some serious rain. Crank that shit up. Well, this is going to be quiet, so I'm going to need to uh, all the way out. This is a great tune. It's a good choice, Orbiter. Yeah. I love the cars. 
I might do them as a feature. I think you should. They're one of my favorite bands. I need to come up with with at least eight songs though. They have. They have a, a lot, but of a songs. lot of them don't translate. Yeah. Well. And a lot of them are, are album cuts. So those are really big songs. Mm. It's, it's a challenge. Anyway.
That was really good, Henry. Orbiter, thanks Thank for those you, Paula. bits. Um, yeah, well, I was kind of touched by that one. It was one of your best versions of that. Really? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> thank you for the bits again. Oh, yes. Really appreciate it. Um, so, Rick Ocasek wrote the song, but Benjamin Orr sang it, um, which was kind of interesting because, you know, nobody ever lets the drummer do anything or bass player do anything. Um, he, and sang, he, sang, he sang the early stuff. I think he did the sing some player. of it. The bass player sang some of the early stuff. Yeah. Oh, Liam, thank you for the bits. Bits um, from Liam. Bits! So, Liam. Uh, it's most associated with uh, Live Aid because uh, Benjamin Orr played it at the Philadelphia Live Aid event and used in the background uh, during the London event, which was introduced by David Bowie. And following that, it re entered the UK singles chart and uh, they got nearly 160,000 pounds off of it getting back into the chart. The cars did. And so Rick Ocasek uh, wrote mid year a check for that amount for the charity and gave it to him. So all the proceeds for it going re go re released into the top singles chart, Interesting. he gave to Midge. Midge kindly put it in his pocket. He did not. <laughs> We're going to go see Midge. Yeah. I'm going to ask him. So hey. that check from Rick O'Casey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, did you pass pocket? On, or did it just find its way in your back pocket? And just he will punch you in the face. He won't. He will. He won't. I'll talk to him in Scotland. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah because that'll help. <laughs> Mitch, you know that, you know that check? <laughs> oh, no, hang on, that's not Scottish. See you. Ah, look at that. Because that's going to that. help. Do you still have any of that, that live aid money kicking out of there must be some reason it's not Sir Midge. I, uh, I do not know. You know, considering that uh, Geldof has. Yeah, it should have been. It should have been because he wrote the song. Midge, yeah, Midge wrote the song. If you listen to "Do They Know It's Christmas," oh yeah, and then you listen to any Ultravox song or Midge Year song for the you'll five years it. on either side, you'll be like, oh yeah, it's totally, yeah, that, that's totally an Ultravox song. Yeah, who knows why uh, Midge hasn't been uh, recognized appropriately. And by the way, I'm sorry. He should be. There is no way that y you've got to be able to figure out car songs because there are literally a metric ton of singles that are good. All right, go on. Then. Just what I needed. Yeah. My best friend's girl. Yeah. Good times roll. Yeah. And let's go. Yeah. That's that's just off the first album. Then, <laughs> it's all I can do. Oh, it's all I can do to keep waiting for you. Don't know. It's all I can do. Uh, shake it up. Since you're gone, <sighs> you might think magic. You might think. Which one's magic? Uh-oh, it's magic when I'm with you. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh, it's magic. Shake, I don't know. Oh, always a smile. Thanks for kicking off that hype train. Hype train! Elliot Easton did a lot of vocals, too. Excellent. Good to know. Right. So, let's, let's play some songs. Let's hype. Please. Liam, thanks for those gifty subs. Super cool of you. Baby says she's traveling on the one after nine on nine. I said, move over, honey, there's a hot train on that line. And I said, move over once, move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. She said she's traveling on the one after nine on nine. She's picking for some beanies and I beg her on my bended knee. I said, I'm happy that you're here, happy that you're watching me. And I said, move over once, I want you move over twice. Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. Said, I'm driving on the one at 909. Thanks for the subs and 
So won't you move over twice? Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. The city's driving on the one at 909. Thanks for the beers and your donation. Paul says we got the best switch station. Thanks for the hire. Now let's ride this train to level five town. I said, move over, honey, it's hot train on that line. And I said, move over once, so won't you move over twice? Come on, baby, don't be cold as ice. I said, I'm traveling on the one at nine, oh. I said, I'm traveling on the one at nine, oh. I said, I'm traveling on the one at nine.
So, uh, Orbiter, Liam, and Always a Smile kicked off that hype train with their bits. Thank you very much. Liam, thank you for the gift subs that you gave out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Anonymous Cheer, thank, thank you for the so bits. Much. Satina, thank you for the bits. I Love Hammo 2, thank you for the gift subs. That's very That's nice awesome. of you guys. Thank oh. you so much. Um, so, uh, Mitch apparently does have an OBE, but not given a knighthood, which I think is a travesty. Yes, it is.
just got to grow the pie, pie. Hannah. Pie. Uh, for those of you who don't <sighs> know, who haven't heard, um, <laughs> our, our, our new... Uh, pie, uh, pie I, I minister. I just the Prime Minister. I, I can't the even. Prime Minister of England. She's. I don't. She's. She's something. I don't know what she is, but she's something. <laughs> Basically, she was like, "Well, you know, in order for everybody to have more things, we just need to grow the pie because there's only so many. You know, only so much pie to go around. So we need to allocate the pie accordingly, and we just need to grow the pie." It's like. So people are just, you know. It's it, what she, what, what she, maybe she should go over to Liam's, grow the pie over there. Oh with his yeah. Seeds. Instead of the yeah, instead of growing trees, maybe, you can just grow pies. Maybe that's what you're doing wrong, Liam. Maybe you should be planting pie. Yeah. Try grow some pie. And sell it to Liz Truss. It's like here you go. People are uh, going insane on Twitter. How do you grow pies? Stop saying you want to grow pies. You can't grow pies. Obviously, she wanted to expand the pie, make the pie bigger. But as somebody correctly pointed out, the problem with this, quote, growing the pie analogy is that to make a pie bigger, you actually have to put more things into it. You have to invest flour, provide some egg support, a little syrup. The pie doesn't magically grow if you ask it to be an entrepreneurial pie and the cupboard is bare. And apparently, I, I seem to remember this as well, Mike Graham uh, claimed that you can grow concrete. What? Yeah. He was a British journalist, he's a British journalist and, what was it, grow concrete? on YouTube. Oh, if you've ever seen someone make concrete in a mixer, you put sand in, you put water in, cement goes in, and it expands and it grows. It's like, expands, yes. Grows, it's, you know, just use the right word. What a dumbass. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Um, yes, we do have pie seeds in England, always a smile. Pie is a very important part of the culture. She is the thick crust of the pie. Right. Um, if you were in on that hype train, please do pick a song. And I see that you all are. And if you weren't in that hype train, pick a song anyway. Love is a stranger in an open car To tempt you in and drive you far away It's false. 
It's a nice song. <sighs> uh, slash USA, welcome in. Good to see slash you. Slash USA. I know. Great name, huh? Slash USA. I wonder if that's Slash. I really hope it is. <laughs> it's, it's cool if you're not, but if you are, if it, if you are. you're even cooler. I, I, I'm just saying. Um, so we're wondering... Uh how hard it is to grow certain pies. Obviously, growing a cow pie is probably significantly easier than growing a pork pie. But that led to my question. Uh, obviously, some pies have to be more valuable than others. Uh, is a pork pie worth more than a fish pie? Which is worth more than an apple pie? Depends on the size of the pie. Yeah. 3.1415. Thank you, toy boy. <laughs> does, does your pie have a crust? Yeah. Well, it... See, now here's the thing. <laughs> now we're going to get into the pie arguments. Like when you get served a pie in a restaurant and it does not have a lid, is it a pie? Well, or if it has a lid and no sides? Pizza is a pie. Is it? It's a pizza pie. <sighs> it's a pizza pie. I don't know. See. People call it pie. Go for a slice of pie. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting Slash USA a sub. Thank you, thank That's you. super cool. That's very kind. Yeah, you, I've been to some restaurants here, some crappy pubs, and your pie will have a lid on it, you know, like a chicken, leek, and mushroom pie. It'll have a lid, but it won't have the base or the sides. So it's just basically casserole with a, past a bit of pastry on top. I'm like, that's not a pie. But then there are other times where you'll get the sides and the base, but so no lid. So is it like a quiche? Is a quiche Yeah, a that's a, no, it's a quiche. A quiche is a quiche. It's not a pie. It could be a tart as well, too. Also you not a pie. A tart. I am a tart. You, you, you used to be a tart. <laughs> yeah. Pizza is a pie. That, I was hoping that phase would last a bit longer. No, it did not. Yeah. Pizza is a pie Clearly. because originally you folded it over and eat it as a pie. Deep pan does not work like this. Uh, Toy Boy says, in my view, a pie is at top, bottom, and sides. I agree. That is a pie. Liam says, tarts for the win. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my, mother. All right. Uh, when do you want me to... You know what? Let's play these requested songs, and then I will do it. A lot of who tonight. Quite like that. I like a bit of the who. The who. Hey, goes like this. That's not in tune. Hang on a moment. Darth Ribs. Darth Ribs. Darth Ribs. I am playing for time. Uh, two one England over USA for the ladies football. Thank you, Toy Boy, for those scores. Uh, 
I don't. I, I, I like this new shout out thing that uh that Twitch has done, but I also don't know if I like it. It's cool because it gives you the little poppy uppy thing to follow them, which is very cool. But it doesn't give you the option to personalize it like that one is. So I'm I'm a bit torn. But either way, so I'm happy that Mr. Darth Rips is here. Uh, Twitch has given uh, everybody a new way to shout out. So most everybody does exclamation S-O and the streamer. Uh, some of us have made specific uh, commands for like, like, Darth. like Darth or Orby or Friendo. But um, Twitch has now given you, you can do slash shout out and then the name of the person. And it gives them a little uh, little heart right above there. And you can instantly follow them without going to their page. But clicking on the link also kind of takes you to their page so you can learn more about the streamer. I don't know. you a sandwich today for lunch. Yeah, that was hours ago. Yeah, that's true. I ate that already. Yeah, yeah, you did. Thank you for the applause, everyone, and all the great emotes. Hi. <sighs> yes, and yes, uh, thank you, Liam, for uh, currently having Hamo as one of your suggested channels. So, as we know, the host mode no longer works. Used to be that you could type slash host and just host a channel if you're not a streamer or whatever else. Um, but you can still put it into your suggested people if you're not a streamer. Um, send me a whisper and I'll tell you how to do it. So if people end up on your page, they'll see that you suggest Hamo or any other streamer to watch. we 
let it out on the streets of a runaway American dream. At night we ride through mansions of glory in suicide machines, sprung free from cages out on Highway 9, chrome wheel fuel injected and stepping out over the line. Oh, baby, this time rips the bones from your back. It's a death trap. It's a suicide rap. We gotta get out while we're young. Strams like us, baby, we were born to run. Wendy, let me in. I wanna be your friend. I wanna guard your dreams and visions. Just wrap your legs round these velvet brims. Strap your hands, cross my engines. Together we could break this trap. We'll run till we drop. Baby, we'll never go back. Oh, will you walk with me out on the wire? Cause baby, I'm just as scared and lonely. So much wrong with you. Uh, makes me very, very testy. Ah, oh, good lord. I could have tried something different. I haven't played this in a while. Chris Isaac. Uh, try and pick a more manly note. Uh, you know what? Don't 
fire No one could save me but you It's strange what desire will make foolish people do I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you I dreamed that I'd love somebody like What a wicked game to play To make me feel this way What a wicked thing to do To let me dream of you What a wicked thing to say You never felt this way What a wicked thing to do To make me dream of you and I Wanna fall in love? This world is only gonna break your heart. I don't wanna fall in love. This world is only gonna break your heart with you. The world was on fire and no one could save me but you It's strange what desire will make foolish people do I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you Did a wipe through a D minor in there mm. out of nowhere. I went, oh, D minor, that'll work. No. Ske, you said you did an awesome job with that one. I agree. He, he's, he's biased. Always a smile. Said, thanks, Hammer, for playing that one. You're very welcome. Despite the wrong call. Thank you for the applause. Yeah. Right. So, I Love Hammer 2 has redeemed 60,000 of her very hard-earned Hammos. So, I will sing Cartman style come sail away who's that by uh sticks always a smile said it was awesome and skeggy gave you a standing ovation oh okay 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 
Okay. Okay. That's true. It takes a minute. It, it does take a minute. <sighs> right. <laughs> God in heaven. Why did I ever start doing this? Open cards for the virgin Cause I've got to be free Free to face the life that's ahead of me I'm bored, I'm the captain So climb aboard with church for tomorrow on every shore, but I'll try. Oh Lord, I'll try to carry on. Reflections in the waves back my memory Some happy, some sad I think of childhood friends and the dreams we had We lived happily forever so the story goes But somehow we missed out On the part of God But we'll try Best that we can To carry on Nice work putting the sailboat in, you guys. Seriously, I did like the sailboat emotes. Those are cool. Thank you. Thank you for the ridiculousness. Yeah. No, the little pointy things that look like Doritos. 
Oh, you don't have BTT emotes. Never mind. Never mind. I saw them, and they are wonderful. Thank you. Um, yes, Orbiter, we will get to work on a Cartman emote. Thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. That's very clever. I know. Mostly animated ones. <coughs> I'm betting if I make animated emotes and they're crap, then it'll prompt you to fix them. Just saying. Right, we got our last two songs. This is it, y'all. Because we are nearing 10.30.
souls are forgotten Where black is the color, none is the number And I'm telling and I'm thinking and I'm speaking and breathing And reflecting from the mountains so all souls can see it Then I'll stand in the ocean till I start sinking But I know my song well before I start singing It's a heart, and it's a heart, and it's a heart Gonna fall. I like that song a lot. Also like so apparently, uh, Dylan uh, referred to himself as the blue-eyed son. He also he often called himself after his blue eyes, and I remember that Jacob Dylan seemed to have really interesting eye color, like really blue. Like, like, that, the, like that model chick. I showed yeah, you like vividly blue. I mean, I don't know if he had it's, it's contacts. A rare, it's a rare con- no, it's a rare condition, well, and a few people have it. But I'm betting, like, Jacob Dylan probably had contacts at the time. But oh, either way. Know, maybe not. They were vividly blue. I know a girl, a girl I pretty. interviewed once had purple contacts in. Mm. And her, her irises were purple. They were the originally, they were blue. But she mm-hmm. purple and it was the freakiest thing. Oh. She was hot, too. Of course she was. Yeah. Right. She did not get the job. Neither did I. <sighs> God. Duh. Just saying. Ah, so, uh, this is the last song. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's 10.30. Oh, what is it? Yeah. So, it leaves me to say uh, thank you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to our mod crew. Thank you. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I gotta thanks see. For the, thanks for the hype train. Yeah. Thanks for the hype train. Thanks for, yeah, all the bits, all the subs, all the gift subs. I gotta see what I've been just told. Here. Oh, interesting. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll look at that toy boy. Is it only in my 
my mind or did we learn which buttons to press? Was I really all so blind not to see your distress? Give me the angel, be my savior tonight. Show me wrong from right. Give me temperance. Do you ever wonder if we both fell out of anger? Each other as we hurtle down. Do you ever wonder if we both fell out of anger? Would we catch each other as we hurtle down? And is it only in my mind or were we in way over our heads? Can we really leave behind? Better left unsaid. Give me an angel, be the savior tonight. Show me wrong from right. Give me temperance. Give me an angel, be the savior tonight. Show me. Lovely. That's been marvellous. It has. It's been absolutely lovely. It's so nice to be back on the airwaves. Yes. I've missed it. I've missed it tremendously. This, this last week has been fabulous. Thank you for your tuning in. Yes. Thank you for that. <sighs> right. Uh, let's copy those raid commands. Um, Toy Boy has suggested a brilliant raid for us. Has he? Yeah, oh. so we're going to go see uh, Survival God Music. She is awesome. Um, oh. So we will see you all next week. We will. Uh, we're going to do Wednesday, Friday again. Yes. Give you a nice long weekend to recover your voice. Yes, well, you're off on Monday. I'm yes. going to be working on the car. Yeah. So <laughs> we will see you back again on Wednesday. We will. Be uh, well. Yes. Be safe. Get well Have soon, Satina. Great weekend. Yes, Satina, please drink plenty of fluids, get plenty of rest. Yes. Um, and uh, hopefully you will recover swiftly. Uh, and everybody's mothers get well soon. Yes, indeed. All that stuff. Indeed. Everybody just be well, be safe, be well. Just just be well, just do that. Yeah. Right, I'm going to... And then things will be great. Um, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.